What's going on, people? So, if you've been watching things and whatnot, I guess maybe, maybe if you're watching the collaboration playlist, this will probably be a lot more visible. But it's obviously collaboration day, right? So that's why I did those, whatever, it's Charlotte somethings, the, what is that, the Rockwell's Modern Life, and then after this, got a pair of Spider-Man somethings. So this right here, this right here, these aren't for me, right? I mean, it's it's not my thing, but they're for my dad because I think it'll be something he's into. So real quick though, this box here got a little blemish there. I wonder if I did that. I haven't seen this box in months, but either way, these bait boxes, very nice. You know, got a little 30 going on down in there, right? Pretty cool. So I do like the way they do this presentation wise and all that stuff. And then down in here, ooh, almost dropped a whole bunch of things. Down in here, you got all this stuff, right? You got this little bag action going on here. So there's that. So you can put your shoes in a bag and throw it on your back, I guess. Or I'll probably just use the bag for anything else. And then these, what was this? Laces, I think, right? Yeah, there's some army colored laces down in there, right? Which I guess camouflage is also a word to use for that. But, you know, it is what it is. And then down here you have some green ones. So, and these have some kind of Japanese whatever on the tips of them. So, not bad. So yeah, presentation wise, things are pretty cool, you know? They are. And then opening this up, you got a bunch of stuff here. You got a, this is one of those individually wrapped shoes. Jesus Christ, like, I should have done all this before the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get on into this thing. We'll set that over there. I got all this crap to clean up afterwards. But, you know, whatever. Should have been paying attention when I did the Instagram unboxing like months ago. But, all right, now we'll just set that over there. I'm gonna close this stuff up just a little bit because I'm gonna need somewhere to sit these things. All right, see? Usually all this stuff happens before the camera starts rolling. Either way, so there's that. I guess I don't need to check these over or whatever, but it's weird because like now I got to talk about these as if like I know what I'm talking about and I honestly don't because these have been in the box since probably the day they arrived. I think I opened them that day. I was like, oh, hey, check it out Instagram. I got some new shoes for my dad. Look at him. He's going to like it. They have army colors on him. Doing that whole thing, you know? And now I'm looking at him again. It's like, huh, this is not at all familiar to me. But either way, let's go ahead and knock out a review of some sort. Oh, I almost jumped ahead there. What is this thing called? A Forum Low, right? Yeah, Forum 84. This right here, for those who don't know, and even for myself who just found out, is the Adidas Bape Forum 84 Low in some kind of white and army colored oh, camouflage is the word for that. Yeah. Once again, stumbling my way through these reviews because that's the only way to do it. Let's go ahead and start with the bottom, people. Down there, what you're looking at, right, is basically what I feel like I've seen on my other forum shoes because I have a few pairs myself. So there's that. Not bad, pretty decent colors, but you know, nothing too fat, nothing too flashy. They saved that for the top, I guess. Moving on up here, midsole and whatnot. So you have this kind of an off-white sort of colored midsole, you know like a beige, perhaps you could call it that, I guess. And speaking of, on the inside of the midsole here, like you, there you do have like that white piece, whatever, that's pretty common on the forums to have some sort of breakup there. Now, moving along, give you guys some other pictures and whatnot so you can kind of start thinking about how you would rock these as the kids say, right? Do the kids still say that? I'm a little older than the kids, so I don't really keep up with what all the kids are saying. But either way, you can look at them and think about, I'd buy these, or hmm, I'd leave those on whatever shelf they were originally on. I get it. Personally, yeah, I would have left, if these were for me, I would have left them on the shelf. And if somebody gave them to me as a gift, I would probably give them back. Only because I don't like camouflage things. But I'm giving away other parts of the video, so let's jump back a little bit here, huh? So, I'm going to give you some pictures real quick or whatever, just kind of breeze through some things. So down here, obviously like toe box area and all that good stuff, right? It's got the whole army colored camouflage thing going on. On the top of the toe box, you got some pretty nice feeling leather going on there, right? So that's kind of cool, I suppose. 
looking around in the middle section where like the Asics, excuse me, the Adidas logo is, kind of the same sort of deal happening, right? And then you saw it and like the rest of the shoe is very much all the same. But you do have this little gold ape guy hanging out over here, right? Just under where your ankle would be, so there's that. And then over on the front piece, at the bottom you have one of those lace debris. So you got the 30 with the little ape guy for the, for the zero, so there's that. Moving up, on the top of this here strip thing, of this Velcro piece, it says a bathing ape, right? So that's gonna be the text on this one. The other one looks like it just says Adidas, so there's that. And then behind that, above that, however you wanna look at it, below that maybe, it says the same thing as it said on the Debray, it says 30 at the top, right? And then on the back of that, there's a gold Asics, excuse me, I keep saying Asics, a gold Adidas thing, probably because I keep looking at these Asics on the floor. There's a gold Adidas thing going on down there, right? which I guess is gonna be a pretty much similar thing on everyone else or everywhere else, except for over here where it does switch up. This one has a gold Adidas thing, whereas this one had the ape dude, right? So there's that. And then looking down on the inside, same as you might have suspected, this one has the bathing ape thing down there. This one has just the Adidas thing. So there you go. There's that. I've talked about forms before, so you know, and I'm sure a lot of people have seen forms before, so I don't really need to do too much or whatever. I feel like what I just did is enough. So you know what that means? Actually, I, I'm going to say something about sizing right now, right? Because I'm not putting these on. I do not remember how the sizing works on the forum, 84 low. I do know that all of my forums are in a size 9.5, so I bought them all true to size, so it must have worked out fine. And I would imagine that wearing something like this that I probably had negative things to say about the comfort of it. So there is that. But if you want an actual breakdown of how I feel about the comfort and the sizing of the Forum 84s or other Forum Lows, whatever, head on into the Adidas Reviews playlist and you will see them in there somewhere, right? Probably more recent than anything because I haven't done a lot of reviews in a while. But either way, now, let's go ahead and talk about some personal thoughts and get out of here. Personally, I don't really care a lot for these, right? My dad, again, he was like an army guy for some long period of time and all that stuff, so he's into the camouflage thing, you know? I bought him those Asics sneaker politics whatevers a year or two ago. He was super into them and all that stuff. So I figured maybe he'll be into these too. Also, the other thing is that I got my mom a pair of Bape forums or Bape superstar, it's Bape somethings like not too long ago. So now he has a pair. And now they're even, right? So they can wear these out on to the into the town and paint the town red or do all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? In semi matching ish type shoes because they do that from time to time. They they got a pretty decent collection going on down there nowadays. Either way, so yeah, I think he will be very into these, right? Again, how, how do I feel about them? It doesn't matter because they're not for me. But I spent the money on them. It's going to a good cause, so I will overlook that. I don't know what they cost, but I'm sure it was more than I probably wanted to pay because, again, the visual piece. But not going to sit here and complain about it, you know, because if it, was, if it really mattered, then I wouldn't have bought them. Now would I have, right? So there is that piece of it, but I do like a lot of the shoes that they've made of the forum variety. They've made some pretty cool collaborations. So yeah, actually, yeah, it'd probably be easier to check out the collaboration video than or playlist to find the reviews there now that I think about it. Either way, I feel like that's about enough rambling out of me. All it was was just me trying to stretch out saying, I don't really like them, but they're not for me for like a minute and a half or something, right? There's a lot of filler that goes into these reviews or whatever. You probably figured that out by now. But there we go. I've done everything I needed to do with this for me to you. Have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I have one more review right over there. I'm going to do that and then I'm done. Later, people. Dude, you know what's crazy, right? It's like this box is so much cooler than the shoes. I mean, look at it, right? I mean, again, the whole camo thing, not for me or whatever, but... It's very nice, you know, presentation-wise. Good on you guys.